If you look up this place online, you'll see that no one's really been here and YouTubed it. So I figured I'd come here for myself and find out why. Welcome to Mongolia, Asia's most unknown and unexplored country. Let's do it. <laughs> I have climbed to the top of a mountain here in the capital and this is where I'm going to introduce you to the person that I'm going to be spending the next two weeks with on a road trip across Mongolia. He's the king of facts, the king of Soviet facts, so he claims anyway. But do you know anything about Mongolia? I know it's very cold and um, Chinggis Khan was born here. Something like that anyway. What a cool place this is on a mountain. Soviet history, right? Soviet history. The Soviet history of Mongolia, which we'll be hearing a lot about in your video. Probably <laughs> because Ben's discovered Wikipedia. I am the king of facts. Anyway, let's go get the car and begin a two-week road trip here in Mongolia. We said two weeks in other videos, like in Japan, last about four days. So we'll see how long we last here in Mongolia. Let's get in the car and do it. Come on. <laughs> postcard. Postcard? Postcard. I'll take a postcard. Yes. How much is one, please? Uh, 2,500. 2,000? 2,500. That's a good price. Uh, okay. Mr. Bold, do you want one? I'll buy you one. Oh, will you? Right, you're very confident now, right? Two, uh, please. Uh, two, please. Five thousand. Yes, what is it? I can't find 5,000. Uh, uh, 5,000. Oh, English. There we go. I trust you to put uh, it out of my wallet. Five, there we go. Uh, this 5,000. There we go. Uh, Perfect. Two. two, please. Yes, two, please. How do you say thank you in Mongolian? Bairta. 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 Okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mr. Bold is jealous of the content I've just got. He said, ah, don't film that, it's just a postcard. Just met a very interesting man, sent him some very interesting stuff here on the mountain. A very friendly man as well. Look at Bold walking down to copy me. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Normal. Norway? Normal. Normal? Yeah. Ah, okay. You're from Mongolia? Yeah. I like it here. It's very cold though. Yeah, it'll, it'll soon be hot. I hope so. I hope so. Are you making a documentary? No, just like a fun YouTube video. What's your channel? i show you. What is your name? Mm, Boina. Boina. My name is Benjamin. So, back. Packer. Backpacker Ben. Now, a lot of subscribers. Oh, thank you, brother. You're a good man. Take care. Hello. Uh, two Coca Cola, please. <laughs> I just met the Mongolian Hells Angels and Talk filmed it. Fuck you. Full conversation. Swear to God. Nah, I was terrified. Oh, I was Let's get out of here. <laughs> I need to introduce you to the car that's going to be taking us around Mongolia. It's an absolute beast. And there it is. Look at that monster. Look at those wheels. Trust me, we're going to need that the places we're going. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't let us down. It costs $600 to rent it for 10 days. That's an absolute bargain. In England, it would cost like 200 pound a day. So uh, yeah, it's an absolute beast. Let me show you inside the car. And there it is, an absolute beaut of a car. That's Mr. Bold seat. He's just gone in to get some coffees. And yeah, can't fault it really. Japanese engineering at its finest. I think it's Japanese anyway. Here he is with the coffees. What do you think of the car, mate? The car? I think it's decent, proper car. The driver on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> You let everyone in. I know. You've got to be a bit more Mongolian, I think. They drive like nutters in this country. Also, I'm an idiot. 
I left my license at home and my driving permit. So if we get stopped on the side of the road, I'm going to be paying a hefty fine, I guarantee it. <laughs> but anyway, let's smash these coffees and hit the streets. The fuck is that? It's disgusting. It's terrible. It tastes like piss. <laughs> Now, as we've mentioned, it's absolutely freezing here in Mongolia. We've come so unprepared. I mean, this is the only outfit I've got. It is Baltic. So we're gonna head into this market and stock up on supplies, jackets and gloves. So let's get in there and hopefully find a bargain because Mongolia is quite cheap. Let's try find a jacket to start with. Got some belts and stuff here, some hats. Let's try find a jacket. Oh, 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 bloody hell. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello. How much is this, please? How much? 40,000. 35? 35? Okay. I take the black one. Yes. This one. Okay, thank you. Well, I got myself a nice thick jumper, but I'm in need of a big jacket. I couldn't see them anywhere in there. So I'm gonna go back in the other way, but let me get this in the backpack. And yeah, continue the market hunt. Ah, here we go, here we got go. some gloves. Hello, how much is this? Uh, I'll try them on. Five okay, 5,000. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. 2XL, you have a, a L or medium? L. Only XL? Okay, no problem. Thank you, thank you. This is hard. Hard to find the right clothes. I'm back at the entrance. I've got my gloves. They cost pound thirty. However, I can't find any jackets in there. And the locals are like, looking at me when I ask, like I'm an alien. So, um, yeah, it's a struggle. I've lost Mr. Bold. He's gone in there as well. So when he comes back out, I'll ask him if he's seen any jackets. I'll go back in there and get one. If not, I'll have to just make do with what I've got in my bag. Did you get a jacket? Didn't get a jacket, man. Me too, I couldn't find any. Nah, exactly, didn't go. I got some fags. What'd you get? Fags? I got cigarettes, booze, and a knife. What? <laughs> I got gloves and stuff to survive. <laughs> I get that. The booze will help me survive. Um, All right, on to the next place then. On to the next place. Back Let's in the car. It. The reason we've driven an hour out of the capital Ulaanbaatar is to come to see this, a ginormous statue of Genghis Khan. Look at the size of it. Hopefully my camera does it justice. It is massive in silver as well. That is impressive, I've got to say. Let's get a bit closer. It's just me and Bold here, literally nobody. There's a couple people with eagles down there, which we'll go down in a minute. But yeah, this is the front entrance to the statue. There's nobody here. There's nobody here, mate. No one here. The whole, We're first here, mate. whole place to ourselves. The whole place to ourselves. Should we go into the old museum? Is it a museum, is it? Let's I have a look. Know. Let's have a go. Hello. 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 Two, please. How do you say thank you again? Uh, Baikla. 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 Yes? Baikla? Baikla. <laughs> there we go. We've arrived at the top, and behind me, the man himself. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yep. When was this built? Uh, 1753. Serious? That's quite new. Yeah. Wow, what a place. <laughs> Are oh, you joking? Are you? <laughs> of course I'm joking. When was it built? About ten years ago. Are you serious? Yeah. God, you never know what to believe for this guy. Wow, what a place! Look at this view I've got here, overlooking the mountains. Can you give us one? I'd say I'd say a good fact actually. People might know this. It's yeah. usually spoken about a lot. Mm -hmm. One in two hundred people to this day are apparently related to this man. 
because he had such a large family, it's spread throughout the world. Right. So one of me and you, who knows, is related to that man right there. That man right there. Right. I think it's one in 200 or one in 400, something like that anyway. Great fact, I like that you're really yeah. out on your fact. Any fact that you want to give? Well, his name was actually Temujin. He was born in humble origins in a tent on the steppe and rose to become the great Khan of the largest contiguous empire in the history of the world. Genghis Khan. Is he related to Oliver Khan, the uh, goalkeeper? Yeah, the German goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I he thought had, so. He had a trial at Bayern. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find out how much it is to hold a giant eagle here in Mongolia. There's definitely going to be a tourist price. But a man's down here, the eagle is huge. So let's go find out. So Benjamin Backpacker is about to hold an eagle for the first time. Let's go and see how this goes down. You know how scared he is of things. Let's see what he's up when there's a giant fucking eagle on his arm. What price do you reckon? I reckon 20,000. 20k. Yeah. Flipping heck, look at it. That's huge, isn't it? That is a huge bird. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Look at its talents. Do you shake, shake it? Shake it, shake, shake your head. Yeah. Look at the camera, camera, camera. Look That's at the camera. Shake. Look at the camera. Camera. Dish after, dish after. Ooh, this thing's gonna stick in you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's digging in. <laughs> Go on his head. I'll take it off. Uh, I'll put the rubber, shake it, 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 shake Hold on, I'm trying to get oh, a statue. Oh, right my neck. Right my neck. <laughs> it's heavy, isn't it? It is. Hello. You shake, you shake, shake, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Go, you shake it. Come on, camera, 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 camera. It's a word. I'm trying to shake it. Hello, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, that is heavy, that bat. It digs right into your shoulders. I'm surprised I'm not bleeding. That was good fun. <laughs> Let's have a look at the photos. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all <laughs> Frankenstein. Like back, <laughs> That's a terrible beast. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, what a beast. Let me just give you a little insight on what we've been looking at for about three hours. Literally nothing. Once you get out of the city of Ubi, the capital, there's nothing here apart from horses and a long road to the next place. It looks like this. This is it. This is literally what we've been looking at the entire time. And then mountains that way. But where are we going to, mate? Um, so we're going to an old abandoned, I think abandoned, hopefully, um, Soviet military base, about three hours outside of UB, basically. <laughs> Arrived at the town of Baganor. We have stopped in the town to have a little mince around. <sighs> we are getting some stairs in this place. Safe to say, foreigners do not come here. So, yeah, we're getting some looks. So, we're gonna have a little look around, see how life is here in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, maybe get a coffee or something. Hello. Hello. How are you? English? Speak? No? Yeah. Yeah? What is your name? Baila. Baila? Yeah. My name is Ben. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the most conversation that I'm going to get here. Safe to say English is limited here in Mongolia. Anyway, let's have a little walk around. I think this is going to be the toughest place in regards to filming and interacting with people I've ever been. 
it's not like India, Pakistan, Philippines, where if you get your camera out, all the locals swarm you and want to be on film. Here, it's a bit hardcore. The locals are friendly, but like, they're very just, I don't know, it's, uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So, how are you enjoying your trip in Mongolia? Have you spoken to anyone yet? Nah, not so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm smiling, and wave, and it's like, they just stare at Samanu, you. Samanu, Samanu. How are you? How are you? Okay. That's my first interaction. No one says anything. Yeah. Please. I was just saying, it's not like the Philippines and stuff. Like, it's easy there. To, it's not, is it? Here's a bit hardcore. It's a bit hardcore. It's a bit, they're not as friendly here. That's what I know. She gave me the permission to kill me. What have I done? She gave me the cold shoulder. <laughs> hello. Oh, I got a hello then, and they walked off. Maybe they're just shy. I mean, not many foreigners are walking around here vlogging. I'd be shy as well. I can see a coffee shop in the distance. I'm going to... Can I just get another hello? Nope. Of course not. I can see a coffee shop in the distance. I'm going to go get a cappuccino, hopefully. Oh, this is a nice place. Oh, and here comes our lattes. How do you say thank you again? Uh, Bakla. Bakla. Oh, she walked away. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of random places I've been, this is, about this is up there. Whoa. Jesus. Somebody know! It's a massive dog. wolf dog. There. That's what I'm saying, you have massive dogs, you don't want to be near the house. Whoa. Mate, he's coming over. It's a guy coming over to us. Samano. Ruski soldatis, yes? Ruski. Ruski soldat. What on yet? Rancher. He's very intrigued who we are. I don't blame him. This is him. Not? No? <laughs> no? No? No problem. <laughs> that guy's given us permission to walk around freely. We think, anyway. Offered him a cigarette, refused it. And yeah, we're just going to walk around here. Oh, there's nothing here. <laughs> so apparently this was an airbase, you say? Well, a military base. A military base? I don't know if it was air. Right. So it's a military base. Many built apartments here, and clearly they've been left to rot here on the field. So the apartments are belong to the soldiers before. Ah, I see. Dead. Right, okay. It's like Chernobyl here. It's a basketball court that's rotting away here. Maybe it was a school or something, who knows? Man. <sighs> See you outside. Don't like it? There's nothing here, mate. <laughs> We're staying here tonight. Just a rotting building. It's always as bad as our hotel. See you outside. Give me five minutes. Yeah, no rush. Mr. Bold, how is it up there? Is it worth coming back up for? Not at all, mate. No. <laughs> Let's get back to the car. That was the abandoned military base here in Mongolia. Not much going on, as you can see. I thought I'd be a few planes here or something, to be honest. But it's just old, like rotten buildings and a building site, basically. This way? Uh -huh. I don't know what's happening. Uh, Wulsk. Wulsk. 
And you pick up? Uh-huh. Yeah? Ah. <laughs> These white tent things you see all around Mongolia, they're called a yurt. They go back thousands of years, even Genghis Khan had one. Oh, hello, sir. Yo, he's invited me in. Wow, we've got full access to a yurt. Food? Yeah, yes. ah, okay, so it's a restaurant. So these things are ancient, they go back like a thousand years. And um, yeah, people live in these to this day in Mongolia, but this guy's turned into a restaurant here on the side of the road. What are you selling then? Meat? Yes. Mongolia meats. Mongolia meats. Ah, menu, okay. Ah, menu. Thank you. I can't read a thing. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just going to point at something, I guess. Potato. Okay. With well, this one? Yes? <laughs> I think they're out of stock of um, whatever meat that is. Oh, what's this, mate? <laughs> All right then. Okay, okay. I have no idea what I've ordered. I have no idea what's going to come, but there you go. Food is being made for me here in the yurt. Yurt? Yurt. Yurt. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're so soft. Whilst I wait for my food to be made, I've come back outside. And look, these are all the yurts on the side of the road. Now, like I said, people live in these yurts, but here on the side of the road, they've converted them into restaurants. And I'm guessing they live in the back of them as well. There you go. There's a few of them down this way. But you see them all around Mongolia. Today I've seen like thousands, thousands and thousands on the side of the road. And we hope, we hope on this journey, we're going to sleep in one to see what it's like. Mongolia is famous for its meat. Mongolian meat is unreal. I had a meal last night here and it was bloody good. So let's try this. It is good. So I think this country is going to be the one for food. Ah, okay. I don't know what you mean. But this man has invited me behind his yard. There's a lake behind where he lives. Hey! Come on, Bold, come look at the lake. Ooh, wow, beautiful. Well, before I leave, I may as well get a Coca-Cola from this lady, all on her own, trying to make a sale. 3,000. Oh, yeah. This money's very confusing. 1,000. Oh, there's 5,000. Okay. It's okay, keep this. It's okay. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Let's get back to Ulan Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> Just two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, fuck me. Which way now then? Right, uh, right here? Or oh, along that fence. We've spotted more abandoned buildings on the mountains. Very far up the hill. Oh, sort of off road in it. Putting the car to the test because these roads are fucking nuts. Bold's offered to take the wheel. He's moaning at my Maureen driving, keeps calling me an old lady. So we'll let him take over, see what he's all about. Come on then. Right, mate, come on then. You watch, mate. Let me show you how we off road in Mongolia. Why are you driving like a fucking lunatic? Why are you Slow down, mate. Lunatic? I'm off road, mate. Fucking hell. That's all the answer. These things will do anything. 
Blimey, look at the state of these roads. It's not even a road anymore. What is it? Okay, mate. It's mysterious. It might be some lab where they're creating some Karem. Dr. Fauci's lab. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what we've driven to. Are we going to go and have a look about? We've got to mound a bloody 10 foot wall. Yeah, are we going to do it? Might find a hole in the wall or something. Might find a gap. I think we should do it. I think we've come here. It's a mysterious lab. They might be up to nefarious things. <laughs> I think we need to break in and find out, reveal the secrets of Mongolia's most mysterious well, lab. We'll drive down that hill. what happens when you link up with this man. It takes you on some horrendous trips. There we go. <laughs> I've no idea what this place is. Just trying to catch my breath, that hill was steep. Jesus. Looks like we're going in. Jesus. Jesus Christ, look at this. Bold. Where the hell are you? Fucking hell, imagine going up that. Jesus. Right, let's get out of this building. There's another building next door, which we're going to look at quickly. Or someone sees us. There's like farmers and stuff in the distance. I've seen them. Yeah, it's got to find on huts. Oh man. Ah. A week ago, I was chilling with a cat in the Philippines in paradise. Now look at me. No, as expected, completely abandoned. Right, let's get back to the car. You've got a cow with you. I've got a cow. Where'd that come from? We've got a Soviet adventurizing cow with Look us. At him. He's coming with us. He's got a head puppy. Look at him coming with us. Hello. Oh, poor guy. Hello. Look at him, he loves me. Oh man! <laughs> what a sight that is. I'm too old for this, I'm 48. <laughs> <laughs> right, we mustn't let the cow out. Yeah, close that back up. The cow's gonna get in. Right, that's enough action for the day. Time to get back to Ulaanbaatar. It's about 15 minutes from here. Oh man, if we survive these roads, death roads of Mongolia. Look at the state of these. What a day. Well, there you go. Day one of traveling Mongolia is over. I'm now gonna go in, have a much needed shower. I'm covered in all sorts. And uh, yeah, day two begins tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We are driving north of the country to the border of Russia. So um, yeah, it's a long drive. I'm in much need of a sleep. See you tomorrow.